Okay, so treatment of children with multiple sclerosis relates to sort of three broad areas. One is the treatment of the acute attack, so in other words, trying to have someone recover from a relapse. And the treatment there is the same in children and adults, which is that we typically use uh, corticosteroids uh, or prednisone uh, to manage the acute attack, and sometimes we'll use things called immune globulin uh, or plasma exchange for more severe attacks. For management of chronic MS, uh, uh, and ideally to prevent relapses, uh, we use these current standard first-line therapies, so interferon beta 1A or beta 1B, and glutarium or acetate. Escalation therapy, so for children whose disease is not controlled by conventional first-line therapies, uh, we um, can, uh, with very uh, significant care, consider treatments such as Tysabri. Um, of course, everything I've just said is uh, important to note that none of it has been based on clinical trials. Uh, care of children with multiple sclerosis uh, is currently done by international consensus guidelines and by shared care models, but there have been no trials to date for pediatric onset MS. And then finally, just like in adults, uh, the care of children with multiple sclerosis uh, is, uh, of course, a multidisciplinary effort with psychology, psychiatry, rehabilitation sciences, nursing, uh, and social work. Uh, and all of those factors are probably as important as anything else we do. In the, within the next few years, we're going to see the first trials in pediatric onset multiple sclerosis. New therapies, particularly ones that are oral, uh, will be uh, brought to trial for pediatric onset MS patients so that we can start to gain the level of evidence for children with MS that we have for adults with the disease. Uh, I think that's going to be our major advance in the next few years. Um, other areas of research are uh, very much focused on the biology of MS in children. So when uh, or does uh, the degenerative process start in pediatrics? Can we measure it by imaging, for example? What's happening uh, to areas that show white matter change and what's happening with repair? These are all uh, areas of, of current research. And then from an immune perspective, we're trying to understand why some children will have a first attack of demyelination and not be diagnosed with MS. They, these children recover. Uh, what makes those children different than the child who has a first attack of multiple sclerosis and then goes on to have a relapsing remitting disease?